up guys welcome to episode 74 of Caleb's Collecting Corner I went to Walmart yesterday and they were clearancing a bunch of stuff out and I was able to get this Mega Constructs Battle Cat vs uh, Rotom I don't know it comes with Merman that's why I wanted it I've wanted this set for a while just because of the Merman figure he's my favorite figure from Masters of the Universe and that is the first release of him with this Mega Constructs line. I pretty much just collect the figures, so it's like kind of a waste of money for me to go blow money on just like, I don't know, a massive set like Grayskull or whatever it is called for, you know, 200 bucks or whatever. And then I also picked up a Fisto figure, which I did not have, and a Trapjaw figure, which I did not have. But they had this set on sale for... $5.22 when originally I want to say it was like $30 or maybe $35. I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that. And then also these were $10 a piece originally, but they were $2.50. So it's five bucks for the pair. Basically, you know, 11 bucks for everything. Almost the price of one of these originally. But I, uh, I like to enjoy these figures and kind of have them just uh, able to see them. And when they're in the box, can't see them so I'm thinking why not let's unbox these all right so I'm just going to actually pull the figures out of the box and see what they look like and see them displayed I already kind of got that opened up there all right here is the battle cat right there which I will open up I own pretty much all the regular single figures they had released pretty cool figure I like that regular one of his mouth opens it does not, but the articulation is pretty dope on him. Looks like his neck moves up. Pretty cool little figure. I'll put his uh, saddle on and his uh, his mask gimmick here. Let's see. And there we go. I think that's how it goes. I could be wrong. We'll see. All right, cool. So this is what he looks like. Pretty cool little figure there, especially for the price. Go ahead and, uh, pull a couple other things out of here. Here is like Merman's weapons and stuff in there. Looks like we'll have to open that in order to get him out. Uh, these look like they're parts to the uh, vehicle that comes with this. That definitely is. Uh, so let's see. It looks like there's a little horn thing here. I don't know. Hopefully I didn't just lose that. Uh, whoops. I don't know what that goes to. But anyway, uh, here is the merman figure. Let's go ahead and crack him open and uh, put him together real fast. All right, let's see if I can figure out how to do this without the without the instructions. You know, I'm a I'm supposed to be real manly, you know, and be able to put things together. All right, cool. So we got. Oh, I put that on backwards. See, already already failing. Just starting out here. And. Green looks like it goes on top here. Dope. And then uh, the torso. Snaps together pretty easy. So the top of him. Looks like he has a hole in his back. I don't know if the rest of the figures have a hole in their back. I don't really have them loose, but put him together. I'm not really gonna put the let's see, I'm not gonna put the vehicle together. I don't know if I'll ever put the vehicle together, but I just wanted the figures, but Merman is awesome. Get a good look at him there. The way around, he's got a hole in his back. Pretty cool little figure. I don't know what this horn goes to. I'm like intrigued now. I don't know. Oh, okay, it goes to the saddle. Ha! All right, cool. And then all their weapons are in here. Let's see, where is the He-Man now? And the He-Man figure looks like he's the one that actually... Uh, I don't know, on the old figures, you would like tap their chest and they would have battle damage. And that's what the He-Man figure looks like it is. Let's go ahead and crack that open real quick and put him together. And uh, let's see. Yeah. All right. It's cool he has that little armor set up. A little loincloth gimmick on him. That. Oh, I'm not even having this on camera, sorry. <laughs> I was like, I bet this review is really exciting for you guys. <laughs> All right, cool. 
and then I'll throw this on here and these vests and stuff are pretty hard to get on but you like to break pretty easy so be careful don't meet head it up and just uh, smash it together and end up breaking the figure or anything so I feel like I was pretty close to doing that and then he's got a little cuff here for his left hand See, I'm about as right as I say, don't break it, and I feel like I'm about to snap this thing. All right, cool. I'll put him to the sides there, and here is the He-Man figure. He's got the hole in the back as well. Pretty cool figure, and he comes with an axe as well. And Merman comes with, looks like he comes with a sword and also a, a trident, but I don't feel like opening this up right now. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get ready to crack open the next ones. Alright, we'll go ahead and start with the uh, trap or trap jaw figure, maybe. Card cardboard's pretty uh, tough to get there. Wow, this guy's like really, really tied in there. He's got it zip tied or actually tied. Wow, actually I'm just going to cut this loose for a second and get back on. All right, I went and got some scissors, so get make this a little a little easier, hopefully. Cut that that rope loose there, and then this thing. I don't know what. I don't know how that's held together. Oh, there we go. Popped open. Boom. Got him. All right. There's some parts to his little playset or whatever it is, and here's some more parts to the playset. I'm just gonna put those back into the skull head so they're out of the way. I don't know if I'll end up assembling those later on. I just, like I said, I want to have the figures. So look, let's go ahead and crack him open and uh, hopefully he's not too hard to put together and I won't, uh, I won't be on here forever trying to do this. So let's see. It's a little more, a little more intricate than uh, the other ones. Like he has a lot more parts, but I think I can figure this out. I might be lying. Don't judge me. Don't you judge me. And then, let's see, put that there. And then, his shoulder pad gimmick thing. That goes. This one actually has the, the thing that goes in the hole, so good. This one has actually a use for the hole in the back. The backpack thing goes, or his shoulder, shoulder part goes in there, so, yeah. It goes right over that way think it does see this is why you should probably look at the instructions every once in a while but you know what are you gonna do I'm supposed to be a tough guy actually no I'm not I freaking have a toy channel how tough am I all right let's see now there's this jabber jaw gimmick and then uh, I think that's how that's supposed to go I don't know I might actually have to look at the instructions and make sure here later on but that's all right and then he's got like his little, his uh, robotic arm and a wrist cufflet that goes on the other arm, I'm sure. Wow, I feel like this is uh, not how he's supposed to look, but I don't know, I'll correct him, I'll correct him later on for my display. I'll just uh, display him, you know, like this for you guys. And these cuffs are a pain to get on. They're tiny too. All right, cool. And here he is, all put together. I like it because his jaw would be movable. I gotta figure out how if I put that on wrong or not. But anyway, there's that one. Put that out of the way. That is trap jaw. All right, and then we'll go and get into this one here, which is Fisto. So yeah, get in here that open all right get in this guy real quick cool and then go ahead and pull out the extra accessories looks like he's got I don't know well stuff for the playset don't need to get into that we're just looking at the figures so all right let's go ahead and put this guy together then all right and of course he has a bunch of uh, pieces too. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and uh, 
see if he's as hard to put together. All right, let's put on the lower part. So go here like that. Go. Wow, well, he's way easier to put together, which is nice. Uh, I guess that doesn't really matter there either way. Pop his head on. Cool little figure. I don't know if he's supposed to look any other way. I she might just glance at the instructions. See if he has different stuff on his armor. He might. Oh, he just has it so you can add like a, I don't know, some kind of jumpsuit thing like for walking around. I don't know. I don't know. It's an accessory. Has a sword here. And here he is. I might actually take that thing off him because I don't think that's actually supposed to be on him when he doesn't have a suit thing on. Let's see. Come on, you. Now watch it. It won't come off. Yeah, he looks a lot better like this. I don't know if he's supposed to look like this, but he looks better. But, yeah. Go. He's got that great big metal fist. So he can be like, pow, right in the kisser. Pretty cool little figure. All right, guys. All right, guys, so that was my unboxing of the Mega Constructs Masters of the Universe figures. Like I said, I really don't care about the play sets that much. I just want the little figures. I'm a fay head, you know, love the toys. But if you like this video, smash that like button. Also, if you haven't already, check out No Cell Society. It's another channel that I'm on. Please check that out and subscribe to that channel as well. Subscribe to this channel especially if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys next time on Caleb's Collecting Corner.